Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I thought about discussing a uh, little bit about networking and to solve one of the very very common problem uh, that you will often find in many certification exams like networking plus, security plus, network plus, uh, Cisco exams and then kind of relate that back to Azure and kind of experiment what we learn in this particular tutorial. So I'm gonna use a very, very simple uh, IP address. It's a, it's a uh, IP address from class A, 10.1.7.30. Uh, but with that one, we are using slash 24 in our subnet mask. Uh, so this is the CID annotation. So what's telling me? So this is definitely required. So just, if you just give me a 10.1.7.30 as an IP address and you ask yeah figure out the subnet mask your address your ID and first usable IP address last usable IP address and the broadcast address I won't be able to do that so you have to give me my uh, my subnet mask okay that's where everything begins so I have already written down this so this is the kind of the path that I'm gonna follow so first what I would like to do, since this is 24 and we know that I have four octets here, we're working with IPv4. So in this case, all bits in here are full. That means this must be 255. Second, all of the bits in here, all eight bits are full. So that one would also be 255. The third one is also gonna be 255. And the last one is zero. And if you are at all familiar with the uh, uh, networking so you probably just know it by heart that slash 24 means 255 255 255 0 uh, like uh, slash 16 means 255 255 0 0 these are like the easy uh, subnetting problems right now let's write down the address as well so 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 in in, in that in the in the program or in the in the problem they have already told me that we have one address 10.1.7.30 so our goal is to figure out this IP address it belongs to which which subnet and what is the first usable IP address in that subnet what is the last usable IP address in that subnet what is the broadcast address so, so the first thing, subnet ID, it always uh, ends with zero. So every bit has to be zero. So we can add zero right there. And for the broadcast address, all of the bits has to be full. So that needs to be 255, right? And we know the network portion for the uh, network portion has to be uh, same as this one. Okay, so in this one, subnet ID, so we're going to write down 10, 1, seven zero so the subnet id is now uh, for this particular ip address the subnet it belongs to the the subnet id for that particular subnet is 10.1.7.0 so the broadcast broadcast address would be 10.1.7.255 so we know all of that now so we know that since these are 255 so the the network portion of our IP address cannot change. So this would also be 10.1.7 and then 10.1.7. And we are already using zero and 255 in that IP range. So the first usable address would be one here and it can go up to 254. Now let's try to go to Azure and see what's going on. So you got to remember, it, in a typical networking, you are only reserving those two addresses, right? So your, your subnet uh, ID, so that is you cannot use, okay, in your, when you are like deploying maybe uh, uh, your virtual machine, something like that, you cannot use that address or you cannot use this one address. This is reserved for the, net, so for the, for the subnet ID and uh, this, is, this one is reserved for the broadcast address. When you go to Azure, there are three more addresses that, that are also reserved for Azure's internal purposes. So what you will see that not only the zero, you cannot use the one, you cannot use the two, and you cannot even use the three. So the first 
four IPs and then the last one would be reserved in Azure. So let's just let's just go and try to do and try to create this particular subnet in Azure. So let's see if I can go to Azure and see what is going on. Okay, so now we are in Azure. So let's go to virtual network and let's try to create one. And uh, in here, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna choose one of the virtual network that I already have. And I'm gonna call it test class A. Okay, and I'm gonna deploy to East US region. And over here, I'm gonna get rid of what the Azure is telling me. And instead I'm gonna use 10. Uh, dot uh, 10 dot what is the address that we were working let me try to find that one 10 dot 1 dot 7 dot okay so first of all if you copy this and you try to create the subnet you won't be able to do that and I'll tell you why so if I just paste that address in here okay 10 dot 1 dot 30 dot 24 30 is actually is referring to one particular IP address. So this is not the IP space. Okay, so that a mistake I see commonly people make. So this is not a IP address space. Once you say that 10.1.730 slash 24, this is referring to one specific IP address. So this one, you, you, uh, you add 10.1.7.0 slash slash 24 and uh, what it is this is now giving you a range and Azure is now telling you yes you can add that particular address uh, as the IP address space uh, for your work so now you see the green tick mark in here again so if I change if I don't use my uh, subnet ID then you're, you're, you're gonna see the problem. So it's, it's gonna say this is not a CIDR block and it's gonna tell you what to use. It's just telling you, hey, go use that subnet ID with the slash 24 so we know what you're trying to do. So that's, uh, let's do that. So in this, once I have that, so let's, so 10.1.7.0 slash 24 is what we need. So 10.1.7.24 is what we need, so that's good. Now in this one, you can even divide the subnet into multiple subnets. In this one, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna call a, a big subnet. So I'm not dividing my subnet, I'm just keeping all of the IP space, everything, and I'm gonna create only one subnet. And here, right here, it says you're gonna, you're gonna have uh, 251 usable addresses. Five of them is gonna be reserved for the Azure, okay? So that is what I, is important and you should remember, it's not in a traditional sense in on-prem, you may think, okay, I have uh, only two that I cannot use, but in Azure, five of them you cannot use. So next, uh, I'm gonna say review and create, and validation is successful. So this one is going to create the, uh, the, the, the the, the the subnet and uh, the network and the subnet so if i go to the resource now so you see this is the virtual network that we have created and in that network uh, if you go to the address space so this is the address space okay and this is the address range 10.1.7.0 to 255 and here i have a 256 total ip addresses and uh, what we want to do we want to go to subnet and in the big subnet, it is now saying, okay, you have the big subnet. In this subnet, you have available IP address is 251. It's not 256. The last thing that I want to do in here, so we are at 10.1.7.0 subnet. So let's just go back and uh, let's just go to resource group. This is the resource group that we are dealing with. Let's just try to create a virtual machine and uh, say Windows Server 2019. Uh, let's uh, call it win 19 and then uh, let's look at some cheaper Windows server so we don't spend too much money uh, it may take just a little bit of time to 
load something okay I usually do this cost I don't have to go with the cheapest one maybe use this one general purpose 2 uh, 8 gigs of RAM uh, so 4 gigs of uh, data this that's, you know, that's pretty good so uh, so sometimes it says RAID that means you cannot use that one so let's just uh, uh, recommended size by image publisher let's just use one of them their recommended version so I'm gonna go with uh, username and uh, password and repeat password okay so now RDP I don't have to do anything this I'm not interested in here what we want uh, this is the one we created test class A and the big subnet so in here um, what we can do uh, we can go to management now and we can just say create so in Azure once once you start deploying resources in that subnet that you have created it will sequentially add the IP addresses from that subnet that are available so what is going to happen what do you think is the first uh, is the IP address this particular machine is going to have so if you think about it I told you that uh, five addresses cannot be used and uh, IP addresses 0 to 3 so 0 uh, dot 0 dot 1 dot 2 dot 3 so those are four addresses that you can you cannot use and dot 255 you cannot use either so the first one should be dot 4 so list the deployment uh, done so it's now deployment is done so you can go to this as your uh, virtual machine in Azure and look at that so now it's telling me that the private IP address for this particular machine is 10.1.7.4 because the first four IP addresses that are reserved so uh, that's kind of what I wanted to complete in this particular video uh, hope you understood uh, how many IP addresses are actually reserved in Azure and how to uh, do a quick uh, analysis of your uh, of your network finding your IP address uh, a usable IP address range and the uh, subnet ID uh, broadcast ID and things of that nature hopefully if you have a little bit of networking background it's not too difficult for you to follow but if you feel there is a better way to present this idea please uh, leave a comment if you like this video please uh, give me a like subscribe for more videos thank you very much for watching